Hey guys, RC here back with climbing the ladder, our FM20 journeyman save. We're with Bonnie Rig Rose. We're doing pretty well. Last match we beat Dumbarton, Brian Jones, and Sandy McArthur, both with goals. McArthur ending a 10-hour goal drought. So we've been in pretty good form. We are running away with the league. We are 20 points clear after 29 matches. Uh, only one draw and four losses on the season. And uh, today we are playing somebody, I don't know who, uh, Sterling Albion, I believe. Yep, there we are. So they're in last, but they've given us trouble. So we are on the road. We are on the road, but we are favored. So you know what? I'm going to stick with our favorite tactic. It's going to be our regular starting 11, Jones and MacArthur up top. Kareem Daniel got called up for international duty with Trinidad and Tobago. And somebody else was called up for, well, maybe it was him, but somebody was called up for uh, U23 or something like that. All right, pick up where you left off. So today is a special day. We have a chance, a chance to clinch the league, I believe. All right, we're in yellow. Jones lays it off. Ray Devaney over to McKenzie in space. He drives. What a finish by the midfielder. Fourth goal of the season. Ray Devaney continues with a brilliant assist. I really want to re-sign him, but he will not talk to us right now. He says he hates the club or he, and he has disdain for the club. Uh, I offered him up, didn't get any offers, so I pulled him back off because he is our best player. <laughs> so uh, let's give some early praise. They're uninterested already. We've got them on the ropes. All right, we're going to play out of the back. Good ball out to Brindle. I'm not sure what our budget's going to look like if we go up next year. Oh, that was bad Sainsbury controls it and that's bad again all right Avenel McKenzie he's in space he drives he brings it in and that's his second from the same spot fifth of the season Kenny Avenel with the assist and that puts us up 2-0 uh, we're gonna give him a um, we're gonna give him a concentrate and they may be overwhelmed by that but we're gonna try to keep them focused we've got a whole half to play right let's give them some praise for the half all right we do have a set piece ray devaney oh he puts it in what a shot just off the post his seventh of the season that's got to be the clincher three nil don't get your hopes up just yet, but we may be raising silverware at the end of this match. It is very possible. And I forgot to look at the scoreboard. Uh, let them know we appreciate their efforts. Come on, boys. Uh, let's, let's praise them again. Eight to one on shots. All right, we're going to go ahead and make those subs. Uh, MacArthur's playing well. I'm going to go ahead and bring on uh, Adam Murphy. And let's bring on Jody Ransom at center back. Rest up Avenel. All right, we get another highlight. Long throw, MacArthur's there. He breaks past the defender, splits, and he puts it in the left post, 23rd of the season. Jack gets the assist, but I'm going to give that one all to Sandy MacArthur. 23rd goal of the season for the youngster. Wow. If you have not seen my Throwback Thursday video from last week, go check it out. It was a flashback to FM18 when uh, I did a save with Leeds United and uh, the best signing I ever had was a guy, a French Frenchman from Olympic Lyon named Amin Guiri. And uh, multiple 
30 goal seasons and I can probably count I may have had one one or two 20 goal seasons since so this is possibly the second best scoring output in my channel's FM history which is a, saying a lot especially MacArthur's not that good <laughs> he's not that good so I don't know I don't know how to explain it I don't know how to explain oh he drops it in oh my god is that a hat trick on the counter attack I think that's a hat trick for him 24th of the season brilliant oh no that was only a second I thought that was his hat trick I've been calling his name a lot recently oh Murphy pounces on it Murphy Murphy puts it in oh my god we're just blowing the doors off all right uh, who are we gonna sub off I am gonna rest let's rest McKenzie okay I can move Brindle there and then I would need a mid left. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll bring Andy Clark on. I don't think Clark's played an awful lot. He's got some potential. He's got some pace. I want to see if we can develop a couple of these players. I'm going to go ahead and just pull back to balanced. And just try to run the rest of this clock out. And there we go, silverware, boys. All right. A late yellow card, but we raised the trophy early, too. I mean, we've got a, quite a few games left. Uh, let's go passionate. Well done, lads. You have sealed the title today. Now, can we keep them motivated through the end of the season? That's going to be the, the interesting thing. Well, let's jump into this. 25 emails. Holy crap. So they won, but we won as well. 20 points up. What a season. What a season. All right, so our initial budget. I wasn't expecting it to come back on that. 677000 That's pretty substantial. But again, we don't have the income to, to deal with that. We're not going to be able to spend that much. Uh, 128000 in transfer. That'll be good. We win League 2 with a uh, imp most impressive win. 6-0 win over Montrose. But you know what? A team that's played us tough all year. We beat Sterling Albion 6-0. I'm pretty happy with that. Cajun leads Bonnie Rig Rose Athletic to glory. We were 8-1 to one preseason odds. We were supposed to win the league according to the club. So nothing surprising there. But that is huge. All right, so we get medals. So there's our medal list. On schedule to win promotion by the end of this season. So we did that. 6 nothing win. McKenzie, two goals with two shots. You were superb. All right. Oh, I know why we had so many. It was uh, Scottish release day. And so we, we offered all the players getting released trials. So I'm going to take a look at these guys, see if any of them are worth picking up. So what are we going to do here? We still have, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the rest of these matches off camera. We'll come back for the season finale. You know what? Let's go with a short episode. We'll end it there. We've already raised silverware. Uh, what I'll do is I'll come back and we'll put a tag on here uh, with end of season, season awards, but, but that'll be it for matches. There's really nothing else to play for. Let's get to the end of the season so we can move into League One next season. Uh, but we will come back after the Cove game for the season wrap-up. So we'll see you for that in just a second. So we played Cove Rangers in our final match of the season. Let's take a look at the highlights here. 
We started off with Jack breaking inside, getting a cross, and Jones going up high for the header, putting it in the net, giving us a 1-0 lead in the 22nd minute of the first half. Let's speed that up a little bit. Then we had a set piece. Avenel, our center back, came back to the edge of the six-yard box on the corner that flared out. He put that one in. A double cross, knocked away, and then Beatty with a laser beam from outside the box, and he puts it in. 3 nothing in the 32nd minute. Building from the back on this attack, McArthur, nice first touch, gets enough power on it to slide it past the keeper, put us up 4 nothing early in the first half. Now, they did get a goal there, a nice set-piece goal where Hay bent it into the near post, and then we came back with another corner and a little header from McGregor, the other center back, to the back post. A 5-1 win. Very, very good. Dumbarton, Peterhead, and Cove Rangers make the playoffs. Baxter with two assists in that game. And we dominate down the stretch. We get $156,000 for winning the league. We end up on 89 points, a plus 61 goal differential. Let's take a bigger look at the stages. 29 wins, 2 draws, 5 defeats in 36 matches. We only gave up 21 goals, so we had the number one defense. We had the number one offense. The next closest team was Peterhead with 51 goals. 82. I feel pretty good about how solid we were this year. So I'm liking that. So we are champions. We do get the automatic promotion. If we take a look at League One, Queen of the South and Stranraer are coming down. So we will be up with uh, the likes of Inverness, Kelty Hearts, and Air United. Take a look. Let's see. They finished on a pretty good run of form. I'm just wondering... Uh, can I see any of their players? No. Let's get a team report. Uh, get team report. I want a team report on them. And you know what? Just because Air United, I'm going to get a team report for them as well. Uh, taking a look uh, at some of our staff, we do have some of our staff. Let's see, where's my email here? All right, so I've made a few contract offers. I'm going to hold off on my assistant coach, Chris Ant Antoniazzi, uh, Brandon Alston. A uh, few guys we're going to kind of hold off. And moving up, I'm going to see if our budget's a little bit higher and if we can draw a little bit better interest. I usually try to stay loyal to my to my assistant coach, but he's not great. I mean, he's he's okay for this level, but you know, I'm gonna see if I can get somebody better. <laughs> so uh, anyway, we'll be right back with uh, end of season awards. It may be a few minutes for me, but uh, we'll be right back because they have to go through the playoffs, I believe, before we get to that information. Well, actually, it did not take that long. We came right back right after that day. All right, so let's see. Here's the scouting report. Let's go check Kelty Hearts. Mm. There we go. That's what I kind of want to look at. So, wow, yeah, they look pretty good. So Callum Scott, wasn't that our guy? No, okay, didn't think so. Well, actually, I did think so, but he's not a very good finisher. Hmm. I mean, he, he shows four-star, but he's not that impressive. He's a lone player. There's another striker. Three to nine finishing. Okay. I mean, they say four stars. I Okay. None of the none of the stats are I mean three to eight pace at a center back I would lose my mind I mean yeah he's good on his technicals but he can't get to the ball so I don't know how to feel about that they look really good but when I look at their ratings I'm not highly impressed so all right well I'll look at that later on uh, we set a record for League Two goals with six with 82. The previous record was 81 by Airdrionians. I hope I pronounced that remotely close. And let's see. Three players have entered the Bonnie Rig Rose Best 11 of all time. Mark McKenzie, 
our central midfielder, 112 appearances and nine goals, uh, average rating of 7.03. Joshua McGregor, our center back, and Jordan Johnston were also added. So that's not bad. Got to like that. McKenzie in the middle. Murphy's already in there. Brindle. Yeah, I don't reckon. Uh, Johnston, our keeper. All right. End of season awards. Who's our player of the season? I'm going to say it's our young striker. I'm going to say it's our young striker. If not, he's the young player of the season, I would bet. Oh, no, Ray Devaney. God, how can I forget Daniel Ray Devaney? Oh, by the way, now that we have won the league and advanced, and we're going up to League One, guess who all of a sudden loves the club and wants to stay and signed a contract extension? Yes, that guy. Uh, so Ray Devaney will be back with us next year. Martin McKenzie and Joshua McGregor. MacArthur did not even make the top three. I'm kind of surprised by that. I'm really surprised by that. Ray Devaney's only 21, of course. So yes, young player of the season. Brian, Brian Jones, the signing of the season. And Blair Beatty with the goal of the season. Looking ahead to next year, continue working within the payroll budget, avoid relegation, and my contract is up. So we will accept that. So they're not expecting a lot just to stay out of the bottom. All right, let's talk to the club. Uh, we're going to be assertive, and we are going to say, I think we're in a good position to avoid relegation. Oh, they like that. And... I'm really pleased. Good deal. All right, the squad is on break. Let's take a quick look at the final statistics. I learned something last night. I learned that uh, <coughs> what I normally do is I, I do all my recording on my main desktop computer. And then at night, you know, I go spend time with the family. But if I want to play, I'll fire up my private, my personal save with Leeds United. And I'll play that on my laptop, which runs the game a lot slower you know, but that's okay. And, you know, I can sit over there, watch TV, you know, click a few buttons here and there and, and uh, you know, be, be in the living room with the family instead of in the corner with my back to everybody. Um, I learned, I thought I had logged out of my, out of this computer and I had not. I had saved, but it disconnected. And when I came on this morning to log in, it said I had to re-enter my password. So I was like, oh, I, I, I assumed it would crash the game. But anyway, uh, Sandy, let's see, where are our goals? Here we go. Look at that. 26 goals for the 20-year-old. I still don't know how he scored that many. He's not the paciest. He doesn't have the best first touch. And he's only average at finishing. Work rate, teamwork, decision-making. He's not even very determined. <laughs> so that's kind of crazy, but... 20 goals in 34 starts. Certainly can't complain about his production this year. We are going to probably have to make a... Let's see, if we go through and look at our... I think we're going to need to probably add a goalkeeper because we're going to be losing Johnston. Actually, he's in the final month. He allowed 19. Important player. Where does it show us? There it is, scouting report. All right, he's operating at a Highland Lowland League level, but could improve a lot. Well, the Highland Lowland League, right? That's two levels below us. Is that right? Or one level? It doesn't even it doesn't even go down that far. I don't know if it's one or two levels below us. So it would be two or three levels below us next season. And we don't have the we don't have the facilities to bring to develop this talent. We just don't. So if, if they're if they're not good now, they're not gonna get much better. We're still semi professional. We're down to seven hundred and fifty thousand, seven forty five. We're not going to, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to have, I mean, yeah, we're going up to 411 next year. So I'm probably going to have to let some people go or sell some people, but we're going to have to probably upgrade at several positions. 
And I think that's going to be one of them. I, I think we're going to have to bring in a better keeper. Uh, probably, you know, try to get a three-star keeper. Uh, let's see, McGregor. He's going to be under contract. I think we'll be okay. Sainsbury is maxed out. Ransom I re-signed. Avenel I think will be very solid. I have put a bid in on another center back. Uh, I won't show him to you because he hasn't accepted yet. Daglish is a lone player. We're going to have to really... Oh, that's what I want to look at. Did Ross County get relegated? They are... So we're going to be in League 1. So 1, 2. I think that might be okay. They stayed up barely. Oh my gosh. Look at that. By one goal. Woo! Skin of the teeth, huh? I think we'll be able to get loan players from them next year. I think that'll be that'll be something we're going to be able to look at and hopefully get some pretty decent players out of them. Uh, Nick Manson. Okay, he's on loan with one of our affiliates, it looks like. Yeah, I just I'm gonna have to look through here, but we're gonna, you know, let's see, 66. If I haven't made an offer. Uh, Johnson, the goalkeeper, is going to be gone. Ransom, I've offered a contract. Daglish is gone. Kareem Daniel I, uh, is going to be gone. Nick Manson will be gone, which won't be a loss. He didn't even play for me. Andy Clark will be gone. Chris Dennis is going to be gone. Jack Jones, his contract is up. Oh, He's 32. Yes, we signed him. Didn't I sign him? Yeah, I got him on a free. Or they got him on a free. We're going to let him go because of his age. Adam Murphy's leaving because of his age. Stephen McFarlane. I've offered him a contract. And Aaron Grant. So, so we're losing a handful of players. Um, You know what? I want to look at dynamics because Murphy's going to be gone Gibson and Brindle I didn't mention Gibson Gibson's here he'll be back and Brindle he'll be back so we'll lose one of our three leaders but that'll leave room for somebody like a McKenzie or Ray Devaney um, to maybe move up or Avenel somebody like that to move up into the team leader slot so i think we'll be okay there you, you know you i think it would be de debilitating um and look it even tells us over here he's approaching the end of his career if he retires we should be able to cope but if we would say sell or trade if we would sell or release all three of those guys then we might have a vacuum and and cause some splitting up of the team so just something to be aware of but uh, anyway, finance-wise, we're doing okay. We lost about two hundred thousand this year, one hundred and eighty. Um, hopefully, we see an increase in attendance next season. I don't know how much we will. One of the things I've always wanted to do, and maybe a save for next year, uh, with OOTP, uh, OOTP uh, Football Manager Twenty One is to build up one club from a low league and then try to develop the stands and the grounds. And I just don't know if it's possible. Let me know in the comments if you've ever done that because I don't think the board is ever aggressive enough in expanding. And I don't think the, even if you expand, I don't think the fan increase comes fast enough. I, I think literally we could jump up to the top top league and still not sell out with this club. Don't know. The other thing, let's take a quick look at profile. I got a little bump. I did get a little bump there, so we're up to one and a one and a quarter between one and a quarter, one and a half stars there. So nice little nice little boost. So that's good to see. Very happy about that. I wonder if we might get any job offers this offseason. 
not sure, not sure. But this is a journeyman, so we will be looking to move on uh, if the opportunity presents itself. Don't forget, I am a little, oh, now that we're at the end of the season, all right, they're gonna, they're gonna pay for it, good, boom. All right, so even if I leave, I'm in a coaching course, which will help my reputation a little bit more to get up to that national. And I don't know what the, I forget the, oh, Continental is next. So I think National A, and then we go to Continental C or something like that. So got a ways to go on the uh, coaching badges, but uh, that'll help out. We should get a little boost from that. And maybe at the beginning of the season, if we finish, we can actually get started on our next license if we're lucky. All right, guys. Well, we're going to call that the season. I am going to get into the meat and potatoes of the offseason here. We are going to start looking at some players and some scouting uh, moving forward for next year. Uh, we will look at trying to get rid of a couple of our players uh, to free up some salary space. Guys that are riding the bench, just not playing a lot. And uh, But you can see from the, from the apps, I mean, just about everybody played, even if it was only a handful of games. Chris Dennis, the lone exception, but uh, he's already leaving to join Lockheed United. So uh, farewell to him. Um, 26 goals in 45 combined matches. 26 doubled is 52. So more than one in two, better than one in two. That, that's incredible numbers. I don't know how he did it. Guys, hit that like button. Let me know what you think of the season. Let me know how you think we're going to do next year in League One. And uh, we'll be back to uh, open the season with transfer news, our opening day match. Or if something transpires in the job market, uh, I'm not going to apply for any jobs this offseason. But if I get an interview or anything, I will be sure to let you guys know. Have a good one, and we will talk to you later. Bye.